Hello, I'm Claudio Kinali, and today I will show you a fantastic dish inspired by amazing Aegean flavor. I will do a rishta, that is a classic Turkish pasta made with a wonderful grain and uh, wheat that we can find in the amazing country. And I will dress with an authentic flavor sauce made with the best ingredient that I find on the Aegean coast. I have dried tomato, basil, garlic, fantastic almond from Turkey, and I will use an amazing cheese from Ezine. It's made from goat and sheep milk. It will be a super kick. Some nice oregano that here we call kekik, a classic of Turkish food. And how to not speak about amazing olive oil. All Turkey has amazing olive oil and olive production. The ground, the climate, the winds are helping to make amazing olive oil and you can find different kinds of olive oil all around the country from Aegean coast to Anatolian side. First of all, dry tomato needs to be hydrated a little bit. Here I have boiling water. I will put a bunch of tomato inside the water. It will take a couple of minutes and I will use this water later on to cook our erişte. Tomato is one of the best products that the Gian Cost give to us. The sun, the ground is helping this product to be full flavor. And for this reason, Turkey right now is one of the best and higher supplier of dry tomato all around the world. This tomato right now already is boiled for a couple of minutes. We take on a tray where I put some paper to dry out more. Whenever I make my food, I always think to respect the product. Since some flavor of the tomato is in this water, we will not throw away this water, we will use to cook our erişte to give more flavor to the final dish. So while these tomato are a little bit cooling down, now it's very hot, we start to prepare our sauce to make I will use a mortar. First of all, I take some garlic. Sometimes in the garlic there is green part. I remove it, I put inside. One pinch of salt, some Aegean almond, and I start to make the sauce. Almond is very rich of fats that are very good for our health. So we will have a very nice texture of the sauce using the natural fat of this product. After this, we add our tomato. I will keep two or three just to put on the top of the pasta at the end. Use your energy to make it. Don't worry, this food will give you back a lot of energy as well. One of my favorite cheese. This cheese comes from Asian side, technically from Ezine. It's a cheese made with goat and sheep milk and cow milk as well. It's super rich. It's very good to make breakfast and to eat every time during the day. Very good. It just means a little bit of spice and a little bit of sourness. And how I will solve this problem? I will put amazing oregano that we call here kekik, some basil. We mix well to take all the flavor. One extra spoon of fixed molasses. And as last, one of the best ingredients that I find in Turkey, that is extra virgin olive oil. This is from Aegean Coast. Very nice floral bouquet, artichoke flavor, a little bit nutty, with a little bit spice flavor. And now our sauce is nearly done. I just mix a little bit more to make more creamy. While you are finishing to make this amazing sauce, you can start to cook your erişte. One spoon of sea salt inside. Put our fantastic pasta. Erişte is very important for Turkish tradition. You can see 
a lot of people in the villages making their own pasta during the summer season. I'm sure that the fantastic way that is used and the turkey is where the most ancient and original wheat that they call budai find in the world. And this pasta is super nutritious and very full of flavor and with a lot of history. So here is nearly done. You can see super creamy, very nice texture, super strong flavor. There is some spiciness, there is some sweetness, there is some sourness and fatness. It's super complete pasta for this. I will love to dress with this. I take the pasta out, but I save some of the water. And here, now we add this amazing sauce on the top. I will add a little bit of this fantastic cooking water that has as well the flavor of dry tomato to make a little bit more moist. As you can see, all these pasta, it's super, super creamy and the flavor is very nice. You can feel all the ingredients, the powerful spicy flavor of the tomato with this wheat and uh, sour flavor, the almond and all the fresh herb. Last things that I do, I take some almonds and I will cut very rotly, you know. I want to feel the crispiness under my teeth. As well, a couple of tomato. And now we have everything to finish our dish. We take a nice reach. We put on the top. Put on the top some of our dry tomato, some of our almond, some of our Turkish oregano kick, kick, a fantastic drop of extra virgin olive oil. And this super nice dish inspired from this amazing Aegean cost ingredients is done.